Hey guys, just wanted to make this uh, quick video here. Um, this morning when I came outside of my my front door, I saw the object immediately when I was getting ready to walk my dog. And I was pretty surprised because I've been looking up in the sky for a long time now, for the last month or two, and I hadn't seen anything, uh, really. Um, the last major event I saw was June 25th, like I mentioned. Uh, on my previous video uh, but in between that time and now it was pretty darn sporadic it definitely died down a lot after the 25th I maybe saw one or two sightings after that of these Tic Tac UFO objects but uh, today I came out and I saw it immediately usually when you see one that usually means you're gonna see more at least for me when I see one it usually means I'm gonna see another couple more or you know who knows it could be everywhere I haven't really had time to look that was about 8 o'clock in the morning it's about 4 p.m. now I haven't really had a lot of time to look up in the sky I've been really busy running errands for my business and doing all kinds of other stuff so I hadn't had a time to really look the the sun looks kind of around the sun looks kind of grayish it's it's got the clouds are kind of misty around it, it looks I guess that's pretty normal. I've seen that a lot every day, but um, it's definitely hotter than normal. In um, in I know it's Texas, but usually it's definitely cooler by now. And we're almost mid October, and now it's October fifth, and it's there's it, like it's always hot. There hasn't been one cool day. You know, it's just, that's a little strange. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I'll go to the uh, the video and the image here now this was interesting because um, I'm starting to notice more on other people's video and on my own video that um, that these objects um, will tend to uh, move kind of strangely when they get nearby uh, a near-earth object like a tree or a house or power lines or whatever and you'll see what I'm talking about in this video. And I purposely moved the camera back a little bit so you can see how the object moves strangely. And I've been, like I said, I've been noticing that in other people's uh, Tic Tac videos. Let me take a look here. So this is the object over here. It comes into view. And you'll see when it gets gets close to the uh, to the tree here, I move it back a little bit so you can see how strangely it moves. It's it's almost like it's just printed on the 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 sky or something. Like it's just it's it's so bizarre how it kind of floats in the sky like that. I mean, it's just, that's how you notice for sh that you know for sure, is when you move the camera like that and move it back a little bit and you see it move all weird like that. Because planes don't do that. I, I, I record planes near trees and that just doesn't happen. Um, here is a, a still photo of it. And like always, it's never quite clear it just looks like a white shiny object or light no matter how close you get no matter how many but not how close how good the binoculars are or how good your camera is it always looks like that now it has something on the side <laughs> that looks like little wings that tries to make it look like wings but those are those are just I believe that's some just some kind of illusion maybe to make it look like an airplane, but they're so small and tiny. Actually, this is a weird thing too. When I first saw it, it looked like the little wingtips were facing the opposite direction of when it was where it was flying, which I thought was really bizarre. And I was like, well, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, if you look at a normal plane, uh, it won't it won't look like this. It, it'll look it'll look like a plane and it won't have little tiny wings like that. I think I've shown the regular plane image, you know, 
quite a few times. Let me see if I've got that here. Here's an airplane, a real airplane. You can definitely make out that it's an airplane. It's, the wings are proportional. You know, it's got the jet seams coming out here. It's, it's a planer. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you all real quick and uh, get that out there because it's I hadn't seen that in quite a while, and so that was that was interesting. Um, maybe it's a marker of things to come, you know. Um, usually when this happens, some some interesting things globally start happening. All right, thank you all, agape, and uh, God bless.